Hello everyone. Happy Friday. November uh, 12th. Yes. <laughs> Silly me. Yep. November 12th all day, right? Till midnight. So I'm hoping we have a full house tonight. We have Coco Pelly, the traveling flute player. The hump in the back is where Coco Pelly carries flower seeds and plant seeds and he spreads them throughout the land. And that trumpet um, signifies peaceful, easy listening music. So he's uh, fertility and easy music listening. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Native American symbol and you can see this symbol North and South America all the way from Canada all the way down so it's um everywhere hi Bambi hi Julie it's a what do they call it a petroglyph cocopelli it's a found from ancient people hi Lori and Jennifer hi Lori Julie and Dan hello wow that's fast you guys are on it <laughs> everybody wants to do Coco Pelli I take it so this is our inspiration photo this is somebody else's artwork I the person I believe is Nick or Nikki this was from deviant art uh, their website um, I did not pay for it. It was just an inspiration. So if you guys, you know, want to use this and sell stuff, you need to go get permission. We're just, we are being inspired by this tonight. So that's what we're going to use. If you choose to trace it, that's, you know, just saying. It's not my artwork and I don't know Nick or Nikki, but I tried to give them credit. So hi, Susan and Nisi, Jennifer, Cynthia, Amanda. Wow, so many people. Let's get Katie in here. So I think tonight I'm going to be using Posca. I did the background with Wanda watercolors. And those are in the makes right now. Um, hang on just a minute while we're waiting for Katie. Almost done. Hang on, guys. <laughs> Don't leave. I got a few more colors cooking still. Oh, here she is. All right. So I'm close to having, having this paint available for you guys. Oh, I forgot the orange. It's over there. Oh, it didn't let her in, but she's going to come right back, I'll bet you. <laughs> I still have a few more colors to make, but here she comes. Anyways, I used um, Wanda Watercolor in the background. I used the pink magenta and the orange, which is this one, I believe. This is this one. They're going to be available in tubes too. Hi, Katie. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. What's up? What's up? I was just showing them these little paints that I'm working on while we were waiting. Um. Anyway, oh, they are super these. awesome. <laughs> Aren't they cool? They're fun. <laughs> We decided, or I decided, I'm not sure what Miss Katie's going to be using. I haven't, what are you going to be using tonight for paint? I just pulled out my Poscas. Cool. Yep. I think that um, it's such a bright and vivid, I'm going to go rainbow Posca. <laughs> yeah. And foil, of course. So the foil, rainbow crackle, Katie. Does that sound good? Um, for which part? The dress? 
Yeah. Okay. Rainbow circle. Mm. I don't know if we can fit it all. Yeah, it might fit it all in there. Cool. And then um, Let me grab the one. head part, the headdress. Dancing squares for the headdress. Or we could do dancing squares for the body. I don't, or for the. Yeah, it's going to be cool. So no dancing squares? Yeah, for the headdress maybe. Or do you want to do dancing squares on the body? And maybe the no, let's do it. Uh, rainbow let's crackle do it for the head. Here. We could do. We could do. I was gonna say we could do different colors of the rainbow for the headdress. You know what I mean? But hmm. Where do you want to do it? I think the the dancing squares may be on these hair things, because since they're squares in yeah, the original picture. Doing. Yeah, I like that idea. Do you want to do something different from this here on the dress or the, the outfit? Oh, I'm no. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. I'm just I'm pulling mine out. So how's everyone tonight? Who do we have on? Hi, Karen. Let's see, Kathy. Maggie, Jennifer. So, do you want to start um, blocking in some colors um, on the head right here? This the face part. It's a uh -huh. white, right? Kind of like a lollipop. <laughs> so it's white with the black swirl. Just eh. so I whited it out and then um, did the swirl. Hi, Deanie. Sorry, I'm still getting my foils out. I wasn't prepared, I guess. You are. I'm just trying to let them know what we're using, so. <gasps> so I think Dancing I'll start. Squares, rainbow crackle. Purple Posca or Violet. Oh, they actually have names. When did they start My naming? My comments them aren't working. Oh no. That's they worked last though. time. Oh, did they? Yeah. Darn. <laughs> okay. Right, let me so I'm gonna start from the bottom down here. And then just work up with the rainbow color around the musical okay. area. Or we can, what, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to start with my head real quick because I hadn't done the head yet. Okay, I just whited it out because I wasn't sure what we were doing. <laughs> this will just I take me a millisecond. And Dini. Yeah, I shouldn't have lined probably. Wouldn't have, it would have been easier not. <laughs> without it lined so no worries so i'm gonna start I down almost here with the smart not to i always have a, like an automatic need to line first and i don't know why <laughs> what is that I don't know because I'm lazy and I don't want to line twice, so. <laughs> I guess I don't but mind then, lining twice. And I usually like to double line, like with two colors, gold or silver or something. Yeah. But not on this okay. one. Okay, I'll let that sit now. <laughs> let that He's dry. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, no double lining. You can double line all you want, girl. Hey, do you did you get your beer? <laughs> no. 
Bloody Mary what? in the house. Oh, yay. <laughs> woo, woo, that's a Bloody Mary? Well, it's in a short glass. I'm, I'm a lightweight. Okay. My okay. olives no. fell inside, so they're at the bottom somewhere. <laughs> it's a very yellow Bloody Mary. <laughs> Are you probably, oh, it's probably just the camera? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't, you know what? I have not seen a single comment either, Katie. I don't think I have comments. I have names, but no comments. It's the Wanda and Hold Katie on. party. Oh, well, see, now there I said that, and here they are. That is so weird. What is Facebook like? Got a button over there that says, ha, ha, ha. Here you go. <laughs> what does this say? Julie says, Julie's got 40 rocks sketched out. <laughs> That's craziness. Hi, Lonnie and Melissa. I'm putting my yeah, hand she's... up so I could read the comments. <laughs> she has a lot of my time on her hands. All right, here we go. Purple or violet Posca. This is one MR. And yes, I'll be having to touch up the swirly whirlies. And if your inspiration is here, it might it printed out so very dark but um so i'm going traditional purple blue lighter blue green yellow orange and red and uh we're gonna do the foils here and i don't know maybe some rhinestones even we'll bling it out right have some fun go go belly i hate not having comments it's so frustrating I'm going to have to plug my tablet in and let it charge a second. Cuckoo for Coco Pelli. Julie says, sounds like cereal. What did you say, Katie? Sorry, delay. I said, I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to um, plug my tablet in and let it charge a few minutes so I can get some comments. This, you guys could totally do this with your paint. Posca dries really fast, so I opted for that so we could, um, you know, not have a six hour paint drying tutorial tonight. <laughs> but yeah, totally. Um, a nice opaque acrylic will go over the background. So we, I did the background with Wanda um, watercolor. And then I traced on top of that. I thought I turned off my notification. Sorry. So I well, traced on top of, what was that? I can't find my charger, so I'm just gonna have to go without comments. Well, I'll try to, I'll read them out when I see them. Nisi says, um, or Elaine says, I'm glad you said that. I don't use pens. Okay. And Nisi says, I'm from the Southwest and never seen it in the Native American art. Oh, we have, um, who is it with us? She's supposed to be checking in tonight. Native American Anyways, she said it means a lot to her, so. Littlekin, I think. What's her first name? What's the last name? Littlekin. I can't remember. Is it Delma? Yes, yeah. Holy cow, I knew something. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing the light blue or the dark blue next? Uh, dark. Okay. The 
blue. <laughs> it's a blue. Any anything we do, you guys, is absolutely you can change it up, make it your own. It doesn't have to be our way. So, you know, like I use watercolors, Katie uses acrylic. You can use oil. I don't whatever your heart <laughs> desires. You know what I mean? Oil paint, Katie. <laughs> don't go get in the Crisco. <laughs> no, but the only thing about oil is it's hard to seal. Oh, I know. I was just making a Yeah, I know. Please use whatever makes you happy, you know? Yeah, makes and sense. I could have used acrylic, but I'm using Posca to save time because had I used acrylic, I would have had to go in and paint this white so that the acrylic would pop out more. That's the And uh, I didn't, yeah. Yeah. So same thing here. Uh, if you want to use watercolors on top of watercolor, you got to spray a little bit. If if you don't want them to blend together, bleed together, you know. So I did spray uh, my background because it's watercolor. I used Rust-Oleum 2X matte or two times. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, Jennifer. Oil paint is stinky. <laughs> Nisi says it actually looks like her playing the recorder. <laughs> I wish I had one right now. <laughs> they are the funniest sounding instruments, aren't they? I wonder if I could still play Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> Fake it. You got an instrument, right? Me? Yeah. No. Oh, I thought you. My mouth. <laughs> That's the biggest instrument. Woof. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I might have eaten too much pizza. Hmm. I'm drunk on pepperoni. I made um, sausage and cabbage and baked potato. Oh, yum. It's pizza Friday. So, for the boy. And of course, you know, I have to eat it. I'm the taster. You have to make sure it's fit to eat. Exactly. Yes. Anyone play the jug, Nisi says? <laughs> that is so funny. Now I want a jug so I can play the jug. I can play the spoons. Oh, that's so cool. There's a lady on TikTok and YouTube who plays the spoons like nobody's business. Have you seen it? Oh, I no, but I'm I'm sure it's not a I can't do that. I can barely keep the spoons together, but I try. Man, she can keep up with any song and it is amazing. Hi, Annie. Oh, Jennifer's talking about cabbage rolls. <laughs> Nisi plays the spoons. Yay. I would love to make some cabbage rolls. It takes a little time, though, and I just end up making sausage and cabbage usually. Yeah, instead of rolling it all. That's kind of... I'm I'm lazy like that. I have taco salad instead of make a taco. <laughs> well, we did that this week them. too. You did? Cool. Mm -hmm. I love taco salad. So easy. You just dump it on your plate. Eat it with fork and chips. <laughs> Boy. 
I'm sounding lazy tonight or this whole week. Are you kidding? You worked your buns off yesterday. She, well, that's guys, true. She came over here and rocked out every order. And today I only had a few to do. So everybody who had an order, it's out. <laughs> nice. I bet you guys wonder what I do, huh? If Katie does the work. <laughs> when I do the work, what you do? <laughs> yes. What do I do? Well, you did, you set up the event, the Coca Pelli event. Yeah. I know, I, I don't do much. <laughs> but we have so much fun when she's here. It's kind of like a play day and a foil day. We went and had lunch at Schlotzky's. Oh, yummy, right? Yep. Schlotzky's. Our favorite place. Yummy. Yes. We pretty much go there almost every time. But I'm okay with that. Most people probably don't know what that is. Isn't Schlotsky's only in Texas? I don't think so. Coco Pebbles event. <laughs> oh, what kind of food is at Schlotsky's? Yummy sandwiches. I know they have them in Las Vegas and the Midwest, so um let's see so they have this special bread for starters it's like a flat bread but it's dense dough kind of like pizza bread but not even that it's not like anything else huh it's like its own that that bread um, that they use is on their its own level <laughs> maybe like a soft english muffin maybe but without the corn meal yeah. stuff yeah, exactly. That's very good explanation. Yes, like a very large English muffin. <laughs> Anyways, they have them in sizes, uh, like small, medium, and as big as your, you know, 20 inch frying pan. I don't know. <laughs> very big size. And um, they now have panini, or not panini. What was it called? Was it a panini? No, a calzone. Calzone. Yeah. And, um, Oh, I went way out here. Cool thing. When you spray your rock, you can just wipe off the boo-boo. <laughs> I thought you were going to say wipe off the boob. What? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know about that, but, <laughs> you know, if you get paint on there, I'm sure it just wipes yeah. it off. Um, what was I talking about? Hell, she said boob. Now I'm Sorry. <laughs> I have boob on the brain because I watched that TikTok where the lady's hitting the ropes with her boob. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scream in the phone. <laughs> Niece, I shared that with Nisi too, so you know what we're talking about, Nisi. That's <laughs> funny. Okay, guys, just so you know why I'm like losing my mind over here. Miss Katie sends me this video last night. <clears throat> was it last night or today? It was last, last night, night, right? Anyways, it's a, a woman having a meal, and all of a sudden, this crazy, huge, like, palmetto-sized cockroach comes crawling across the table, like, during her meal, and she just whips out her big old tatas and beats the living crud out of it. <laughs> it she wasn't naked, y'all. She yeah. did it with her clothes no. on. <laughs> yeah. It was just ridiculous and funny. Just, just funny, because you know, I, I don't know, you gotta kill the cockroach. Her videos are hilarious, always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, I don't know, I guess you had to see it, it was so crazy funny. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> Like, I don't know. It's like not like the first thing I would think to grab to beat the cockroach up with, you know? Exactly. I would be tur jumping up and running, actually. I'm like, uh, waiter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, I don't know, a shoe, my purse, a napkin, my husband, anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nisi, it's your job to forward the video. Everybody's going to want it. <laughs> hey, Joan. It's too funny. Yeah, welcome to Friday Night Live with Wanda and yep. Katie. Yeah, this is like not R rated, but what's that called? TVMA. <laughs> <laughs> we I'll behave. Skipped, we've skipped past PG. I'll behave. No. Heck no. It's Friday night. They're still looking for Shalotskis. <laughs> it's so yummy, you guys. I so should not have lined this. I ought to just color it in, huh? Just like, boom, because you're probably already done. Oh, yeah, I just colored over mine. Mm, you're so smart. The light blue, the yellow, the orange, and the red, they all show through there, so it won't be that hard. It's just the green... Well, I can sort of see the green, but the blue and purple, it's totally gone. Gone. I'm just going to have to wing it. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, so I'll color over the, with the other ones, because if you can see through them, then the main thing. Roseanne, Rosanna, Dana. I don't remember that. Hey, Lonnie. <laughs> so we're going to have a viral cockroach video going around. This is actually my first time using colored Posca pens. I've only used like one other colored Posca. It's always been black or white. So the yellow, probably we're going to have to do a few coats or put white down under it. Oh, you yeah. covered it, huh? Mine did okay. On the bright yellow, of course, it's going to look different because it's so. much dingier is the only word I can come up with. Now I'm wishing I had the bigger ones. Yeah, I've just slowly built mine up. Hey, where are my other pens? Do you know? <laughs> I don't know where nothing is in here anymore. All the pen all the pens were in one of your carts. Oh. All together. Even the other paint pens, like, what are they called, Thule, the ones in the bag? They should be. Hmm. Are they not? I have to go look. It's right, it's under my desk.
I'm just thinking it might have a brighter yellow, you know. Nope. Did I do it the oh there they are? This one's Arteza, but I don't think it's um oh it says fluorescent. That's not right. Well that's definitely not gonna work. Only yellow in here is the same size. All right, this is it. I like it, Katie. Looks so good. Thanks. Yeah, Nisi's asking, she has some glitter acrylic paint pens. Would that look cool for this art? For sure. Mm -hmm. I think it would be pretty. The cool thing about this is anything goes. It's total abstract. I mean, there's so many mediums you could use. You could do alcohol ink. You could do... Uh, while you're doing watercolor, you could do uh, the gouache. You can do any of the any of the mediums. Yeah. It's I'm just for time. Them. We can't really do some of them. Uh, I keep trying to see what Jennifer wrote, but I can't find it because every time I touch the comments, it kicks me off. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm totally behind on the comments. Oh, big one here. I went and grabbed the Arteza. <laughs> Which, they're really transparent paint pens, so it kind of works right here. See how fast that was compared to the other one. <laughs> Boom.
So going with the picture, um, kneecaps are red. Yep. And then the pants are black and white, or the legs, arms and legs are black and white. The shoes are black with like polka dots. Yeah, I'm going to do some dotting, I think, on the shoes. And the little elbow pad things are orange. Okay. I think I'm just going to do mine red. Well, there's yellow behind it, so it'll look orange. <laughs> I'm going to let this black dry really good before I go in with my white. Yeah. I'll go ahead and line the body. I'm going to do the feathers over here. Do I want darker? Light. I think I'll blend them. I'm going to put dark blue and light blue in the feathers. Thank Jennifer. Jennifer saying this was a fabulous inspiration image. Your rocks are looking amazing. Thank Aww, you. Thank you. Well, when we were asked about doing a Coca Pelli, I went to look at Coca Pellis, and um, this was one I came across, and you know, it screams Wanda. <laughs> I love anything rainbow. <laughs> so, yes, I had to. Thank you. It was meant to be. Mm -hmm. Hi, Christy. Is that Christy Lehman's? Yeah. Thanks, Phyllis. Phyllis says, love these. Oops. They look so cool. Love the bright colors. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ah. My darn wiggly hand. <laughs> I sure wish I could see the comments so I could talk to them and ask them stuff. I always ask what their weekend plans are and I'll talk to them. I can read you comments. Thanks, Julie. She says we're magical artists. I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> oh, she says I'll be in a nursing home and still won't be as talented. Not so. Come on. <laughs> I want to be you when I grow up so I can have all the stuff you have. I know. <laughs> I, want, I want your bank account. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all. Let me pull my pins out. You can use gel pens too. You have to be selective on which ones that you buy. 
Um, my favorite are Jelly Roll and Signo. But I'm going to use these on the feathers just to show y'all options. This is the Jelly Roll Moonlight set, and I'm going to use it on the feathers. I love that set. It's like neons. <laughs> but so, of course, you would love it. <laughs> yes. Jennifer says she had a real urge to paint this week, but no energy to paint. I, I get oh. that, you know, like I have desire and then no energy to get me in there <laughs> or yeah. I have the energy, but I can't find the uh, inspiration. Like, I don't know what to paint, man. I get blocked a lot lately on what am I painting? And then you tell me that and I start sending you hundreds of pictures, <laughs> right? artist block it's of course really most of them you say ixnay on <laughs> well remember i'm like fourth grade coloring book level that's me <laughs> and you're like all wizard she's wizard <laughs> <laughs> well you know a lot of that stuff that i pick is always a challenge for me that's good but that I, you challenge yourself. You know, I'm like, so stay within the borders of my comfort zone. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Now, gel pens, you have to um, spray before you do any kind of a. Yes. Um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> resin or especially a. a a uh, like dura clear or something like that because it'll smear this right off yeah they are very water-based it's basically watercolor in a pen thick watercolor and they will wipe off after the fact too so if you get them wet or like even after they're really dry so you just really have to seal them but they're awesome and i i pretty much spray seal everything that I do because um, I do a lot of foil and you have to spray seal it to make the resin stick if you do two part resin. Yep. I still don't know why it does that, but yes, two part resin likes to move off of the foil. And UV resin will do the same thing if you don't cure it right away. Like if you're working on something, you know, you put the resin down and then you're doing like a big old bunch of rhinestones in the resin. You'll notice the fish eyes are starting to come up in your resin. It's because it you left it without curing it. And uh, then you hit, all you have to do is just smooth it out again. While it's I saw wet. that happen to yours when we were painting one night on video and you were you had a bunch of brainstones to put on a rock and you were you started talking about how it was starting to separate yeah it it will i think that all resin does it but uv resin we don't see it because we cure it before it happens you know you usually put it on and then boom you cure it right away so it doesn't um it's not a factor generally you know we do not give it the opportunity so if you're joining us for the first time tonight on this live um our live tutorials are a bit different they're kind they're technically probably not even tutorials but they're like follow alongs, you know. They're, like, yeah, they're paint alongs. Yeah, it's commentary, fun stuff. You know, we talk to you, we talk to each other. Sometimes there's a little quiet spells when we're concentrating. But um, I think that it's still fun and you can learn a lot from it. Um, we do have other tutorials that we record on our YouTube channels that are more focused tutorials. So, And we have a mod working in our lives usually um, that's julie she can post um, links or if you ask questions and we miss it she can help you with that so yes 
thanks to Julie for modding. Big thank you. And then, of course, we have the ever so awesome member helpers. Oh my goodness, you guys are so helpful. We've got awesome, awesome members. Oh yeah, they jump in and help on most of those questions that get asked. And if you're new to the group, which I think a couple people are new this week um, here tonight, we are a social learning group and we basically like to teach and learn. So um, if you are ever looking for a tutorial or want to do a tutorial, both of those things are very welcome. And we have a guide section that's really amazing. Um, Margie keeps that up to date for us. She's a, another moderator and um, admin actually, sorry. <laughs> Um, anyway, she keeps our guides really, really up to date and you can find just about everything you need in the guides. Elaine, welcome. Elaine is new. Hello, Elaine. I think it was Giamatti or, sorry if I said it wrong. I can't see your whole name right now. <laughs> and y'all can always feel free to message me if y'all or have, if y'all have a question or y'all need help with something, I'll do my best. If I can't help you, I will try to find help. Yep, yep, yep. Sometimes it takes me a minute to um, answer because um, I'm a caretaker for my husband and my mother-in-law. And so sometimes it takes me a bit, but most of the time I can get to you pretty quick. This is the Signo that I'm going to use. It's in the pastel series. It's an awesome little set. And I'm going to do the little... Diagonals. Oh, so cool. I need to get that set. I need more, more, more. No. Right? Don't buy anything, guys. <laughs> Actually, the signos are already tried and approved. <laughs> There's the lighter signo gel pen that I put on the little. That's nice. The little pointed thingies, whatever those are. <laughs> <laughs> the thing my bobs thank you julie and Dee i think julie said to Deanie, i belong to several groups and this is my absolute favorite thank you if i got that wrong Deanie said to julie vice versa thank yourselves thank you both oh speaking of you guys, I got a little angel mail today, and it's super cool. I'm not going to show you how to use it, because <laughs> I haven't used it yet, but thank you, Dini, for this angel mail. She sent a bunch of magnets for the cat's eye polish, and these are super cool looking. They are different designs. Like Awesome. Look what they do. Very cool. And then there's, look at fishnet and heart. <laughs> We're going to oh, have some wow. fun here, right? Look yes. at that. It's like the foils. <laughs> it's got the starburst so cool. stripes. I didn't even know that existed. I, I don't think I did either. <laughs> look at the chevrons <laughs> and bigger chevrons. So cool. Thank you for that gift. 
Wait, did I see another newbie? I'm new. <laughs> I'm new too. No. <laughs> I'm going to let that first coat of white dry and then I'm going to have to go back and fix some areas because I have a wiggly shaky left hand. I got a wiggly shaky too. Thirty-eight people. Nice. Hi, Dana. Oh man, that's a good olive. <laughs> I bought like a name brand of olive this time instead of the generic ones. It really makes a difference. Really? Yes. Hi, Judy and Sheree. I think it's Sheree or Sherry. S H E R R I. There's an E there. I think it's Sheree. Sorry if I said it wrong. Kirkland Queen Olives. Jennifer loves those. Mm. Um, Costco? Sounds yummy. Yeah. I don't have a Costco, but they're building one close to me, so it won't be long. We live right in the middle between Costco and Sam's. And when I say in the middle, it's like, what, 30 miles between each of them. We're not close. But we travel anyways. Couldn't live without Costco and Sam's. Like tonight, you know, I was there tonight because my son loves sam's pizza this is absolutely it's his favorite and um we were there picking up pizza and i needed to pick up some office supplies because i go through a lot lately <laughs> but i picked up you know paper and bubble wrap and bubble mailers and all those things it's so cool that you can just hit all that in one place yep and big big sizes you know so i don't have to go again for a few months The one thing that bugs me, I'm going to get on my soapbox for a minute. This has nothing to do with rocks, but the one thing that bugs me about Sam's, and I don't know if Costco is the same way, but it drives me nuts that they have that guy standing right at the front working the phone thing and always, always wants me, what phone do you use? Dude, do you mm -hmm. not remember that I was in here two days ago? <laughs> I don't want your phone. Thank you. No. I know. I mean, that's not nice. I shouldn't be like that. But it's really frustrating because it's like, I, you know, 
I, I'm cool with them having, you know, that stuff available, but don't have people standing there hassling me. Every single time you come through the door, right? Yeah, and it's not just him. All through the store, Direct TV. Uh, that was the, I was know. just gonna say that. Who's your internet provider? Who's your home security? Do you, <laughs> you get it all the way around? Yeah, and it's like, um, no, I don't. Y'all go away. <laughs> Let me shop. It's almost like um, we're calling because we heard your auto warranty expired. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But live and in person. <laughs> I should say that. I should be like, my car warranty is just fine. Thank you. <laughs> that would be so good. I always tell them, I'm super happy. Just changed to a new carrier. Thank you. Got a brand new phone. Even if I didn't. Or I don't use a cell phone and I don't have cable. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> I don't use the internet. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's laughable. And that's terrible. I know we all have a job to do. And I was in sales. Yeah. Too, that's but... why I said I shouldn't be that way. Because I know we all have to work. But it is it is hard to maneuver around because they're good at their job. Okay. I think we're getting close to. It's um, funny. Boiling, right? Almost. Yeah. The last time I bought a phone, we bought it at Sam's. <laughs> they caught us. Oh no. <laughs> yep. But that was years ago. We've had the same phones. We're due. We just changed carriers, but our phones, they lasted a long time this time. I mean, really, Samsung has really come a long way. And they are, I'm digging it. Sorry, all the Apple users, but I'm kind of. I know, I was just thinking that. I was like, there's probably some people going, Android sucks. It doesn't, actually. A lot less glitchy. So I wonder when they're going to change the name on Facebook. They already did. And it's not the whole of Facebook. It's like the parent company. Oh, so they're not going to change the name on the app? No. But when you first log into it, like when you first start your app up, it says meta at the bottom with the infinity sign. Oh. It does not say Metamucil. <laughs> but yeah i don't i don't get it really by changing the name it does not do anything but cause confusion Oh, I forgot the little, the little hands. Did you dot the feet? Not yet. Sorry, I'm a little slower at relining. My hands are totally are numb. <laughs> It was so awesome playing in the foil. Yay. <laughs> Thank you for that video. That was pretty cool. I didn't even know she did that, you guys. <laughs> it was totally, totally cool. Yeah, it's, it is. It's quite fun. fun. It's a change of pace for me. I enjoy it too. Like, 
it's almost like Christmas every morning, you know, I come in here and they're all sparkly hanging and <laughs> blowing in the fan. <laughs> did you do the trumpet? Oh, you did already. Darn it. See, you are way ahead of me. You can go ahead and start boiling. Okay, so we're doing the rainbow. Is the rainbow on the body? Which part do I want to use, though? That's the question. I know, I kind of wish the rainbow was like a little going up and down. <laughs> yeah. Like, to get it all in there, I don't think we get all the colors. But, no. but maybe we can do... I was thinking maybe we can do a patch. Let me let me try something real quick. So like going should we go this way with it? Like that. I'm just gonna set that there for a sec. And then patch it with going this way to get the blue in like yeah so we'll go see how it just patches in there like yeah something like that maybe Or you can just put the whole thing on there. Just pick a perfect part, you know, and then like, yeah. Okay, time for the nail glue. Or you could, we could use the one, the crackle that doesn't have um, color in it and color it ourselves. Like, do this first, rainbow all the way down, and then do the regular crackle on top. And you don't even have yeah. to do it good, because when you put the crackle on top of it, it makes it look perfect. <laughs> so how would you do the rainbow part on the body? Just with the Poscas, just, just like even do it crazy, you know? Here, I'll do it because we're going to cover it up anyways if we don't. So, like, just. Oh, I got you. Just in little sections everywhere. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even have okay. to be good. Just, like, kind of, you know, just blend it out a little. Just be careful not to make brown. <laughs> and then I got to find my crackle. <laughs> Oh my god. The way it's I'm sorry. <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> mm, no, it's your um what's that? Where where you pause in your word, my crack goal. Oh, I it was totally not meant on purpose. <laughs> I know, babe. <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> I think I know where it is. I think it's in my big box. 
that I've been filling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably, huh? I'm all finger painting. Yes. <laughs> I want to do, um, I want to do a rock soon with the blossom polish that we got. Oh, yeah. You want to do that on here? Would it work with the foil? No, we'd have to skip the foil. Oh. But you could make it look like the um, gecko that I made. Yeah, no, maybe not on this one, but soon. Cool. Could you do like a flower with that? Yeah. Yes. You can actually do really beautiful roses with it. Oh. Now you're speaking my lingering. I've ne <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually made one, but I have seen some gorgeous things done with blossom gel. You guys don't know what we're talking about it's like the carrier gel um the builder gel um i believe not the one in the pot the one in the squeeze tube that i had you guys get that one is a, also a blossom gel because it's a five in one and a blossom gel is where you put a coat of that on and then you add some dots of other paint into it and it blossoms out. So it's, it's a carrier gel basically. Okay. Yay. Oh, look at you go girl. She went all with the squares. <laughs> I went for it. I'm all mess over here. <laughs> no, yours looks good. It's got a reline back here. You know what the hump, I was saying it before you came on, but the hump on the back of Cocopelli, do you know what that signifies? No. Cocopelli carries a bag full of plant and flower seeds and he sprinkles them throughout the land it symbolizes fertility oh cool and then um the trump the flute or whatever he's playing i think it's trumpet yeah um that's like peace and unity and um like easy going easy listening friendship camaraderie you know yeah. Very cool. At least that's the gossip that I'm repeating. That's what I read. So, <laughs> I mean, I wasn't alive back then when they were, you know, painting the petroglyphs. On. <laughs> I've always just found them fascinating. Mm -hmm.
This is going to have to dry a second before I can foil. Mm -hmm. You can foil the hair. It's straight foil. Oh, yeah, that's true. Dancing squares. Or dot the feet. Ooh. I'm going to pull out my liquid pearls for them dots. Blue and red. I see a green in there too. It's like Christmas lights in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I see it. I'm just doing a little bit. It's like just the front part of the All right. So are we moving to foil on the hair or the bot? What are we doing? The hair. Let me get some gloves. Gloves, 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 gloves. Oh, what did we find on the UK Amazon? Ah, blooming gel. Yay! It's buttered. <laughs> Dan wants to know why liquid pearl as opposed to like a dot of acrylic paint. Never used liquid pearls. Because I'm extra. <laughs> I love how honest you are. <laughs> they're just awesome. There's they're, no um, point. <laughs> they're puffy. They stay. It's a texture thing, right? So yep. if you like tall dots, Liquid Pearls is your friend. And they're gorgeous. All right glue but you could definitely definitely use acrylic Fuck show. Fuck show. <clears throat> make sure i have my light in here yay oh look at the i don't know if you guys can see it but Look at the fluorescent. <laughs> part part of the issue, who asked that question? Jan? Yeah, yeah. Part of my issue is that I'm a mixed media artist, so I like to use everything I can on a rock. <laughs> yep. I'm mixed media too with a biasness for foil, <laughs> affinity for foil. These kind of ran together because I made them too close. But the black, the black liner Katie's using is Posca. One I MR. used two. I used, used a Posca one MR and a Copic multi liner I'm, I'm sorry. Five. There you go. What she said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a, I gotta trim a little hair here. This is a disposable eyeliner brush. And it's just like the other ones, they're just clear. I got a clear pack. They're by eBoot. You get a hundred of them on Amazon. I like the eBoot brand because they're a bit longer and thinner. And the the actual brush part is uh, more pointy and detailed. And I, I still have, oh, Katie Thompson. Uh-oh, that sounded serious. Like <laughs> your mom is I in the house. 
I still have uh, the King Miss ones because I had so many to start with. I like those too, don't get me wrong. I just found these and happened to like them too. <laughs> when you're curing your glue, make sure you move the big glue or cover it out of the way while you're curing or you won't have any glue to work with. <laughs> Do the Copics run on Santorini? Julie replied, not when sprayed first before resining. Um, yeah, I don't have too much smearing with Copic. Um, it's pigment ink and it's water and Copic proof. So that means um, your Copic pins, after this is dry, your Copic pins aren't gonna pull this up, which is alcohol ink. So I would assume that these are pretty permanent once you use them, but it has to dry for a little while. The problem is people line with it and then go right back and do something else. And you would have to use the Copic, let it dry completely, and then go over it with whatever you're using. So it's waterproof and stuff when it's dry, completely dried, not just oh, it's dry, you know, like touch and oh, it's dry. No, it, on these, it has to dry for a while. Right, that's great. <laughs> the dancing squares. Yep, it, that's awesome. See, I'm out of them, but they are on order. They will be in soon. <laughs> but if you have them, use them. They're so awesome. See how they dance? They go inside of each other. Like, wow. Total psychedelic, total psychedelic. <laughs> thank you, Phyllis. Pretty dancing squares, Phyllis says. Thank you. Hi, Phyllis. I can't see your messages, but. <laughs> She said, pretty dancing squares with a big smiley face. Okay, I'll quit playing. I got a bit of glue outside of my line here so i'm going to take well a i dropped a big fat blob of glue right here where my finger's at so okay. yeah that's fun right intermission no just kidding <laughs> drink time cherry pepsi <laughs> I think there's 12 or 13 sets in the shop right now. That is so exciting. Can you guys believe that? Just a few months ago, I was like, do you guys want me to buy some of the transparent foil so we always have it? Yes. <laughs> we we kept killing the Amazon stock, do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't get our foil because every time I put a link up, boom, it was gone. So it has been fun. I am having a blast with it. And I'm getting to know you all so much better. It is so wonderful. We're packing orders and I'm like, hey, it's Phyllis or Julie or Joan or, you know, whoever. Just <laughs> so cool. Yep. Makes me feel closer to you guys. I've been having fun too. It's packing the orders and seeing what y'all the what y'all's real names are your aliases <laughs> 
Julie's saying how she's in another group and she got they post links and stuff on deals and she got a big bag of Hershey's chocolate or whatever and, and her name is big on Etsy. <laughs> Julie's name. I bet it is. I'll bet Etsy shop owners love you. <laughs> Julie's our professional shopper. Yes. And she's a master at getting links. So that is why we have Miss Julie as our link getter. If you have a few bubbles in your glue, if you're new, you can just use your little torch and just go over it real quick with the torch and it'll take those bubbles right out. Smart. See, I forgot about my torch tonight. It's not even, I don't even know where it is. That's probably why. It's not right in my eyesight, so. Well, my first one didn't bubble, but the second one did. But, you know, the tempers are starting to go down. It and is. the house is getting cooler, so that's probably what it is. <laughs> Nisi, yes. Getting to know me and getting to know all about me. That's pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> in I'm crazy. That's what all you need to know. Uh, Phyllis wants to know what kind of torch you use. I don't know the brand. It was these who were sent this? Lonnie? Lonnie. Lonnie sent these. Lonnie sent it, and I love it. This is my favorite torch so far. You know what I love about it is this handle. It's like a buffed plastic. It's it's silicone. So every, nothing sticks to it. It's awesome. Like the other one, I had so much sticky resin all over the handle. It, I stuck to it every time I touched it. <laughs> so Lonnie, if you're on, she probably, it's been a while, seriously, since she um, sent those. So she may not have links, but I'm probably sure she got them on Amazon. I know, Bambi's like, link, link. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have links to every single thing. <laughs> Especially when angels send them. Yeah. We don't, we don't know. They were a gift. I'm loving that. Um, like I said, I am out of these right now, but I do have the disco squares, guys. I still have those. And they're kind of cool, too. Not kind of. They're real cool. They're very cool. I also now, see, this one didn't bubble. There's no bubbles in that one. Sweet. I don't know where they went, but... They're, they're on the bottom of the metal rack to the right. Very bottom. Thank you. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I seriously don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> <laughs> these are the other... These are the squares I have in right now. I don't know if I have them listed in the store, but if you're interested, let me know. I can uh, list them for a minute and then you can grab some, like on a pick four, which means you pick four foils, send me a message which four you want, and then go buy pick four. It's $6 for four foil. Anyways, look at these, the raindrops. <laughs> so pretty. There's just not a whole bunch left, so I always take them out of stock right before they run out because I don't want to oversell. Oh, excuse me. So just shoot me a message if you guys want some of that, and I will open it up on the Etsy for a few orders. And then if there's a foil you guys absolutely love and like use a lot of, you got to let me know that too so that I can restock it because 
I really never know, you know. Yeah, also if there's one in a set that you really like and you just want, you know, one of them or you really want to have that one available, definitely say something. I know everybody has their favorites. I was amazed that so many people were buying the hologram Paisley. And someone asked me about the hologram Paisley. I think it was Lonnie, the uh, hologram Paisley one today. And um, she has it. It's in the ultimate set. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm Oh, yay, Bambi. She used the black gro broken glass today and loves it. I love Ooh. that you said that because that is a harder foil to work with. So I'm so super happy that you're having a good time with it. Yes, and it just takes a little patience. You know, go in slow and don't rip it off. Yeah, definitely got to go slow. Relay it down. It also takes some special curing with the glue. You know, you got to do a little extra finesse there. Black foil, you guys, is, it's just hard. For some reason, it doesn't like to release from the plastic. And I don't know if it has something to do with the pigment or what, but it's all black foil. Doesn't yep. matter. All black foil. <laughs> Sometimes I can get the black foil to work a little better if I put a base coat, but it's not always. So that's why I really haven't said anything. Um, Bambi just mentioned, she said it, she says, yep, so pretty. I put top coat down first, then the there glue. Then go. The so it always, needs, it always needs to have a cushion coat. So either a base coat, top coat, another glue coat, but it needs a second layer underneath it. And then your glue cure and then your foil. Sometimes you even got to do it again, like a third coat, but it will work. It just, it is that you got to manipulate it. So if you really so want the blood, it does go. Foils are cranky, Nisi says. You got to go slow and baby them. <laughs> you guys are paying attention in class. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Are we ready to do this one? But they're so worth the work. right yes absolutely worth the work i mean it ups your game like 110 percent yeah you can do things that you can't just can't do with paint and don't get me wrong i love paint and there are certain things that you don't yes. want to know there's no foil would it would ruin it you know what i mean so foil is not for everybody or everything Exactly. Dang it, I love it. <laughs> okay, let me locate my crackle. <laughs> it's funny, I got up and got the other stuff, but I did not get the crackle. <laughs> I gotta go locate it myself. So we do have the rainbow crackle, but we opted to go with the clear crackle and paint underneath it because that's super fun too. This one, right? Yep. Here we go. You know, Wanda, I'm, I'm almost wanting to do the rainbow part, too. The rainbow crackle? This. Oh, over here. I know. I think clear, like the clear transparent foil over that would be so pretty. I was thinking the, the, um, the laser, maybe. Ooh, pretty.
But any of them would look cool. The discs or the stars, maybe. <laughs> Nisi says, oh, Nisi, that's so good. Oh, I just got a bunch of bubbles. So that's joy. Mm, my bad. Okay, Nisi says, <laughs> hang on. Sometimes it's the rock and not the foil at all. If you rock be grumpy, you foil, or if you rock be bumpy, you foil be grumpy. <laughs> That's very true. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know why my glue did this this time. Weird. I wonder if it didn't like being on top of Posca. Or maybe my paint wasn't dry enough. I'll bet you. Yeah, you got to let your paint dry, guys. So thankfully, we're not using metallic or this would be, I'd have to start over. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. See all the bubbles? Oh, wow. A little bit, yeah. I think my paint wasn't dry enough. Mine's probably going to do that, too. That's what some people have been having trouble with with the Mr. Resin. I keep seeing people complaining about Mr. Resin and the bubbles. And yeah. I wonder if that's part of the problem, if the paint's not dry. Oh, could be. Since I started using uh, Jay Dixon and the bubble, I haven't had issues with the bubbles at all. I love Jay Dixon. It cures faster, too. Am I, has anybody noticed that? Yeah, mine did it, too, Wanda. Did it? It, it must be the Posca. Huh. We're going to have to start spraying or something in between the Posca. Yep. Which glue did you use, just so we can make notes? I used the Burano. See, that's two different glues. I wonder so if it's, it's our humidity. Posca. Is it humid outside? <laughs> It oh, didn't ruin good. anything. What's I mean, the, the pool was laying outside? down. What? Right now, the humidity is 46%. It's only 46. So That's not too bad. No, not for here. No. <laughs> it's not um, influencing the foil, though. You see what I'm saying? The foil's still perfect. Right. But if it was metallic like this, you would see all of those pits in there. Look at how gorgeous that came out. Voila. Although resin helps fix some of that too. Mm -hmm. Here's mine. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that. Mine Yours awesome. looks awesome. Crazy shine it on it. Look, it looks like the, the the crackle rainbow foil. I know, isn't that funny? <laughs> Here's the crackle rainbow foil. Yep. <laughs> you just made it yourself. All right, I'm kind of kooky like that. <laughs> I'm like, I could do that. <laughs> and that's why I'm making paint. <laughs> yeah, this girl can mix colors like nobody's business. I am not so good. I have to have my color wheel out, and even then, I'm like, uh. So, yeah. Thank you. I might not know what the color is called. <laughs> Wanda I color. Can, I can mix it. 
Like I'm terrible with actual paint names, you know? Yeah. It's just one to color. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm also working on another set of paint. So I'm going to have the neons and then look. Can you see it in there? It's going to be, should we, help me name it. What should we name it? Unicorn? Unicorn. <laughs> Unicorn paint. Unicorn. Here's the color. Isn't that pretty? Anyways, there's going to be blue, um, red, gold, green, blue, red, gold, green. What's the other one? Pink or purple? Hmm. I don't remember. So I'm going to have a, it's going to be a five color set in that. And then the, I haven't made up my mind if I want to stop at 10 on the neons or go 12 neon colors but there's what are they saying the rainbow coming out of the flute is lackluster compared to the rest so we need to fix it up and julie says unicorn shimmer nice thank you i like that so what should we do over here you know what i think i want to do over there do you still have it? The um, oh. holographic sparkle paint. Yeah, I have that one. I think I want to try that. And if I don't like it, then I'll put some foil there. But who doesn't like holographic sparkle? <laughs> Just be careful because you use Posca pen and I don't know if that's going to smear it. Mmm, smart. It's pretty good. Can definitely see the holographic. That's pretty. What do you think, Katie? Yeah. And of course, that's, you know, I'm not saying you got to do that. I'm just saying I think it's cool. Nisi says heat gun for crafts helps dry the paint. Yes, it does. Good tip. It's just terrible for video. <laughs> yes. <Loud. laughs> I use my hair dryer all the time, but not when I'm on video. Yeah. But definitely when we're not. Oh, yeah. All about that. Or I let my stuff dry overnight and then finish it the next day. I just got to show y'all one more time. Look at the graffiti. This is my favorite oh one. My that is, <laughs> I'm so glad I got that. 
Because all I keep doing is look at that graffiti. <laughs> I just want to just put this on something just to have it to look at. We should do a mixed media graffiti art. Right. I you got something it. today that I'm going to foil at Dollar Tree. Yay. Let me Let me get it. For my desk. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? <gasps> no. Dollar, Dollar Tree. Tree. What? Was it in like the five dollar section? No, this was a dollar. Shut the front door. We don't have a five dollar section. Wow. They had peace, love, and I don't know what the other one was. There was one other one. My Dollar Tree stinks. <laughs> But it was real picked through. I tried to find boxes. I tried to find the little hooky things and no <laughs> luck. The hooky things she's talking about are the racks we use for the foil. <laughs> <laughs> they are uh, hard to find. <laughs> but they're perfect for the foil. Yeah. This does move the paint, so be careful. It does. It does, but it's like if you go light handed, it's it's totally good. Just don't go back and forth on the same spot, you know. And I'm just trying to stay off the black period. I like it. I know you guys are probably like, what? Wanda didn't opt for foil? What? Sometimes we got to show different options too. Yay! Thank you, Julie and Lonnie. We got the links for the torches. Oh, cool. Thanks for popping on, Lonnie. I know you're a busy lady. <laughs> Poor Lonnie probably got her, her messenger got probably got slammed there. <laughs> Lonnie, <laughs> where'd you get your breath? <laughs> Uh, sorry, girl. <laughs> there was 38 people on here a little bit ago. Nice, guys. Yeah, we're just having fun tonight. Nothing big and complicated, just fun. It's bright and fun and joy. Totally us. Makes you happy. Makes me happy. And yes. we took a break on the holiday stuff. Yes. Because dang it, we got six weeks. <laughs> we got to spread that out. Okay. I'm so going to put some rhinestones on here. Yes, yes, yes.
I haven't done my white accent yet either. Have you? Mm -mm. <clears throat> nope. I think Sandra, if you're on, Sandra Tyler, you were asking me about this yesterday, this hologram paint. There it is. I totally forgot about that until just now. Yay. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I think I like it. This would look beautiful on canvas. Matter of fact, I think a few of you are doing it on canvas. Please post when you're done. Yes, we would love to see it. A lot All of people don't them. post. Yes, we need to see your guys' work. We need to. It's not required, but that's what I live for. <laughs> right, Katie? It's like, we got to see. What do you think? Work. Oh, it's gorgeous. Bam, there it is. There it is. What? There it is. I don't. I don't know where my rhinestones are. I can't help you with that because <laughs> things have moved since I've oh, seen them. I had to do a white highlight. Right, when coming down the flute. It's Marvy Poo, thank you, Nisi. Oh, Bambi, do post from Bambi did a watercolor class. Yes, yes, post it. Thank you. Love to see that. I put some uh, extreme glitter in turquoise on the little flute thing. So it'll have to dry. It just looks white right now, but once it dries, it'll be sparkly. Cool. I got a little carried away with the white here. I think I'm going to have to use gel pen because this Posca is too thick white. 
I just don't know if gel pen's gonna work. I might actually, oh my gosh, have to get out a liner brush and, you know, line. Do it by hand. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna work, yay. This is the Signo Angelic, or an, what's it called? The Angelic? Yeah. If it's the real fine one. Yeah, it's the. There we go. Ooh, I'm not very steady here. Well, I'll be darned. What's wrong? I just, I shake hands tonight. Just the shaking. If the hands are shaking, don't come a painting. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that is so cute. If the hands are painting, don't bother knocking. <laughs> That'll work too. Does anybody else ignore their door? <laughs> or is it just me? Because I totally ignore my door unless I know you're coming. Like if you've called and we've arranged, you know, <laughs> but I don't like to answer my door except for the Amazon guy, girl, people. <laughs> we don't have people come to our door. Lucky. But maybe a kid selling something or whatever. But well, yeah, that's pretty much. We usually get salespeople or neighbor kids, you know, wanting to play. I'm like, it ain't for me anyway, so I ain't even going up there. My husband installed the biggest doorbell you've ever heard <laughs> yesterday, didn't he? Like, it, like it's going to make you go there any <laughs> more than the other way around. <laughs> I'm so not getting the door, honey. <laughs> so you can put the biggest doorbell you want there. <laughs> on he put it on the loudest one <laughs> he did he moved, well in his defense our doorbell was in a, a stupid place in our house when we and had you our couldn't house hear built. it at all yeah when we had our house built they installed it in the there's like a little tiny hallway between our living room and our master bedroom and way up, we have these really high ceilings and way way up top up there they put the doorbell in the back of the house and the door is like at the at absolute other end of the house so you cannot hear it in the front of the house they could be at the door and you can't hear the doorbell and you could be standing right in front of it you couldn't now however <laughs> You could be at the neighbor's house. <laughs> yeah, so he took care of that. That's too funny. Next, he's going to change my phone ringtone or something because I never answer my phone either. I usually don't have it on in my defense because I get so many notifications that it just dings all day long. If I turn the volume up. So, yeah. because I need to 
I need to see my notifications, you know, but if I um, turn them on all the way to hear my phone, it's like ding, 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 ding. I'm not complaining. That's not what it is. It's just a lot quieter with the phone off the ringer. Oh man, I just am making a mess here. Oh well. I do love this. Bark. Okay, I missed something. Nisi's barking. What? <laughs> what did I miss? Julie has the ring, the doorbell. We were going to get that, but it doesn't make sense on our door. We have a glass door. <coughs> oh, it like barks like you have dogs. Um, no, the ring she was, I was talking about the Julie. Come on. I don't know what the bark thing is. Maybe, maybe that's what Nisi is talking about. Nisi says, put a sign up that says, do not ring, you ding dong. <laughs> you do not ring, you ding dong. You know? <laughs> ding dong. Nothing? Oh, sorry, I was concentrating. <laughs> oh my gosh. Brum, bum, bum. <laughs> sorry, Nisi, my delivery was terrible. <laughs> Nisi's making a sign that's um, going to read, ring the doorbell, the dogs will bark. <laughs> that's good. So then they won't ring the doorbell because everybody loves to hear the dogs bark, right? <laughs> How you doing, Miss Katie? I'm good. I'm just concentrating on these darn white lines. I found my bling bling. All right. Like a rhinestone cow, Coco Pelly. I think Wanda's the one drinking. Rhinestone Coco Pelli. Coming up. Bark. <laughs> oh no, it just says bark again. If you're asking me to bark, it ain't happening, so. Top coat. Okay, I'm going to do some top coat. Oh, this is a mess. So I had some people asking me in the, the nail foiling kit that I have in the shop what the bottle is for, alcohol, because it's your best friend when you're foiling. Yep. It's, it's what you use to clean everything with, your bottles, your hands, your gloves, your workstation your brushes, even make cleaning up mistakes on your rock. Alcohol is necessary. You need to have it nearby when you're working with UV products. That's why we felt it necessary to put a bottle. We can't ship you alcohol. So. Right. <laughs> no, they frown on that. So, you know what? I'm going to sign this, and I think I'm just going to top coat my rock and then do the 
rhinestones in it. You know what? I'm not going to sign it because I did trace this and it's not my original artwork. So, Nikki, thank you for the inspiration. Whoever you are, I love it though. All right. So, dump. Top coat, that is Delixir, not Beatles. Oh, I guess I should get my light, huh? <laughs> but I need to. I love this rock so much. <laughs> And if you guys are wondering why I want to use top, a top coat to cure my rock, a couple reasons. It helps setting the rhinestones quicker. And um, it cures faster. And, and I'm, you know, lazy. Okay, see, lazy. lazy. Oh, shoot, I missed one. Actually, I need more. It's a big rock I have here. Oh, so pretty with the top coat on it. This is a silicone applicator for, actually for facials. Um, and they use it for resin and top coats and UV sealers. Gotta let that rest and kind of come to level, level out, you know. While it's doing that, I'm going to drop some rhinestones in there. Look at that bad boy. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> you go, girl, with your sparkle. <laughs> it's so beautiful. My first time I get to use my new rhinestone picker. So pretty. Okay, I'm just going to drop some colored rhinestones in here. I'm putting some blues in the blue. And they are not all matchy. It's a UV top coat, yes.
I don't think I have purple. Whoops. I'll use this one in the purple. <laughs> Melissa, are you talking about the rhinestone picker? This is so pretty. I got this one on Etsy, but I am looking into getting a hold of these for you guys. I haven't found this on Amazon anywhere. So. It was kind of a splurge. But I like this part. This picker part it's tiny you can make little tiny dots with that didn't you say you were in the testing phase yeah I'm testing it out so I don't have links or anything because it's not, um, I don't know, it's, today's the first day I'm using it. And when it arrived, the tip was uh, melted to the lid, so that's for sure negative, but it's really good so far. It's a good sticky one, you know. That's uh, pretty cool in my book. Hmm. What to use for orange? And I don't have red either. Nice. Good going. How can I be out of all these colors? Hmm? Let's see what I can find in red over here. I have little bitty red ones. This one. liquid pearl what did you just use liquid pearls katie yeah i had to redo my my little dots okay somebody was asking if those were liquid pearls yeah i had to redo my little dots i scraped them off and redid them because um uh, they were too close together and they just meshed together uh-oh i hear you i feel you sister I like this little thing. I want to put it somewhere, but where should I put it? Let me show you. It's so Coco Pelli like. See that one? Yeah. Where should I put that? I don't know. Oops. Well, shoot. <laughs> In the middle of his head. I like that. That's where I was going. Boom.
It's an I now. Yes. The all-seeing eye. Probably not going to work, but... Yeah, like it. Do you like it there, Katie? See the eyeball? Oh, yeah. Cool. I'm going to tip it just a little bit. All right, I'm going to torch and cure. I think I'm going to add a little more top coat in a few places. It doesn't really pop bubbles on top coat, but it warms it up so it will self-level faster. The torch? Yeah. Sorry, I gotta grab my light. All right, I gotta leave it. This rock is so big, I gotta hold the light over it. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty because it's fluorescent. Oh my gosh. Oops. Can you guys see in there? Look at how gorgeous that is. Awesome. Kathleen, thank you. Hi, Cody. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> This has to be one of my favorite projects so far. This you always rock, say that. <laughs> I know, right? Each thing I do, I'm gonna love it. It's my favorite. Good thing you only have one child, huh? <laughs> I feel like you're my favorite. This is seven inches wide by eight inches long it's a very big rock it's a huge santorini some people only like to buy that size i'm pretty i i'm biased myself i love the bigger ones but it's um it's really good for tutorials to work on big ones because you guys can see it really well but it's just not it doesn't work in real life for <laughs> to ship them is a heck of a hassle yep it would definitely have to go in a big box mm -hmm. although <laughs> the bubble <laughs> mailers have been working really good well and i was gonna say there's some boxes i didn't know about that are called regional boxes and they're different shapes so a bigger rock that's longer might fit in one of those regional boxes i ordered a whole bunch of different boxes so we have some options yay i don't know what i'm going to do with this rock good night julie thank you for your help hi allison I got a little OCD, but I didn't like the way the gel came out with the white, so I'm going over it with a fine brush. Okay. I was really not happy with it. I was about to cry. No crying. It was kind of thick on mine, too, but I don't, I think in the overall scheme of things, it doesn't look so terrible. See, it's really thick on mine, too. Yeah. I kept messing with it and messing with it, and I was like, forget it. I'm getting my brush out. Mm, we're cured. Nice. See, that's the cool thing about top coat. It cures in 30 to 60 seconds. Done. And all of these stones are for life now. Yes. 
All right, we're going to take a tour. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous darling. Oh my gosh, the dancing squares. Beautiful. This was so much fun. Awesome job. Thank you, Amanda. Thanks, Dini. They say and they're both awesome and beautiful. Miss Katie doesn't get the comments tonight. Bummer. Yeah, I'm they sorry I didn't get to talk to y'all tonight. I feel kind of bummed about that. Sorry, it's still wet on the edges. I'm going to cure it some more. Yeah, it's it's hard to um, not be able to see the comments, that's for sure. I think I'm about happy with this. I like it. It's gorge. Gorge, darling. Hey, Betty. <laughs> We're just finishing up, but I'm so glad you popped in. Thank you. But you can catch the replay. It'll be posting just right after. Usually takes about five minutes to wrap up. When I'm, I'm done really, having OCD. That's cool. Have OCD all you want. I love your, um, oops, my left's all twisted. Your Coco Pelli outfit. The squares are awesome. Yes, I'm talking to you. I think that's better. I'm I'm happier with that. Looks good. So I did put a little dragonfly glaze on the feathers. Got to be I'm careful with it because it will bring up Bosca. I just kind of dotted it on. But it's better to spray your rock before using dragonfly glaze. Just like um, I should have sprayed this rock because I did notice the glue was pulling up the Posca a little bit. Yeah. So it's good to spray first and then do nail glue. But because of timing, mm -hmm. yep, uh, I'm not doing it that way. But um, I'll I'll do my top coat since I did liquid pearls. I'll do my top coat and post it separately. I, I can't do it tonight. It'll have to dry. Okay. Gotcha. So do we have any announcements or anything coming up? I can't think. I don't think so. Um, no. I don't think so. Just. Oh. I do have, <laughs> right before I came on, I checked for the porch and I had some Amazon. I do have three new foils that came today. I haven't put them in the shop yet, but I'll post them tonight so you guys can see them. Um, where did I put them? Oh, here they are. It's Katie, the one you asked for. This one here. Woohoo! It's like a paint pour marble looking foil. Isn't that beautiful? Tie dye ish. Uh huh. And then we have black crackle. It's actual black foil, but it works really easy. This isn't like the holographic black. This one transfers like a dream. And white crackle with gold. They're gorgeous. And then I do have these three colors as well in metallic. And I believe those are going to substitute in the Christmas pack because we are running low on the gold, green, and red. So that's the update on the foil stitch. So can you buy those by strips also? Yeah, I'll I'll put them in singles. They're not going to be in a set. Oh, okay, cool. That way you guys can just buy what you want. And then, you know, I still have the other sets, which I like 
you I haven't decided if I want to make them single yet because these like the five sets I just posted yesterday yeah. those are they're special because a they come in smaller bulk sizes like I only get 50 meters versus 100 to 120 of a regular foil and if when you guys order these you'll notice they're a lot thicker quality they're just a different kind of foil they're high 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 super quality so I like to keep those in a set because they're expensive <laughs> but I still you know though there's less on a roll I still think it's um better to keep them in a set because when you start breaking them down then you have certain ones that never ever ever sell right but they only look good with a partner. You know what I mean? And are, are the sample packs back in? Yes, I did. I, I loaded those on this morning. So the sample mm -hmm. packs are back on the Etsy shop too. So I'm, I've been working on those. Those are 50. There's 50 strips in the sample packs. They're eight inches long. I think there was some confusion. They're, they're not full size. These are sample, when we say sample packs, it is eight inches uh, in length, the strips are. So you will get, you know, eight inches. I can't even lift my camera up far enough. Eight inches. Yeah, but if there's 50 strips of eight inches. So it's right. like, and, and it's just a sample pack for you to see if you like it, or if there's one you like that we don't have, in stock we can always get it so you just have to let us know exactly i think there's 20 or 22 of these in here and they're all different and random i can't tell you what's in each one and you know one might have more galaxy one might have more animal that's not something we're not paying attention to that at all katie's trying I to separate them as best she can yeah, I tried I tried to mix them up, but you know, there's just a lot of flowers and stuff like that. So um I'm I'm trying to mix them up and, and do some good combinations for y'all. Yeah, she's keeping it keeping, keeping it, it real. Sorry, I had to have a sip of water in the middle of a word. <laughs> All right, so we are finished for tonight. Happy Friday, and I'm actually hoping to pop in this week sometime and do a midweek tutorial. I know, right? I've been gone for a minute. So I'm going to slowly work my way back into working full time, and we'll, we'll get busy again. All right, guys. Hugs and happy Friday. Have a good night. Bye-bye.